Good morning, everyone. As we have discussed that in fundamentals of marketing management, we have four units. In unit two, we have three chapters, right? Out of that, two chapters already we have discussed and successfully we have completed. Which are they? The first one was branding. Very nice. The second one was very good. So today we are going to discuss about the advertising. Just from the pics, you can see that these are the pictures for advertising. They try to say something. कुछ मीठा हो जाए. As it's the morning, the morning always we start with what? Sweetness. That's why we say happy morning or good morning. So same way here, कुछ मीठा हो जाए. And it's a hot day. We are having the picture for. कोका कोला ठंडा ठंडा कोल कोल द नेक्स्ट यू कैन सी इट्स अबाउट दी वोडाफोन अवर फेवरेट कैरेक्टर दैट इज जूजू मंच वॉट इज द टैग लाइन पंच लाइन बिग बाइट लाइटिंग साइड पर्क Geo light and light. Are they the products from the same company? No. The previous one it is from Nestle. The same kind of the product it is available with Cadbury. The brand is Perk. Now understood the brand. The name of the company is Cadbury, but the brand is Perk. And in the previous slide it was the company nestle the brand was munch what is the punch line here geo light and light they are with the hardest competition the same price same product companies are different punch line very much similar hai na similar kis tarike se hai it's big bite light inside and here also geo light and light so they are in the competition with the price again with the punch line what is the punch line or the tag line the line with that we easily understand that this is the product of this jaise kuch meetha ho jaye koi pan aa shabd bole kuch meetha ho jaye at the same time click to our mind that they are talking about what yummy dairy milk right okay this is what our favorite the morning starts with this only and it's known for aapke toothpaste mein namak hai kya hai mam ghar pe hai but we don't use salt But when we purchase Colgate, we say आपके toothpaste में नमक है क्या मिर्च मसाला Now let's look to the one video. Okay, good job. Good day, Chief. Ha ha! 
Now see the impact. Huh? What it says that your love means the world to us. Thank you, 10 million fans. Generally, we have fans where? Facebook, social media. Why we upload status or photographs to get thumbs up? And what the Vodafone advertise about? That for each and every situation, each and every situation, we are there and when you say thumbs up, you are not able to cope up with the situation. But when it is this, you are successful. Yoga, Padmasana no tu dhatu. But when they receive this one, that is the like, hawa me udne lage. Right? So this is about what? Advertising. It is what? It is an art. So just from such pictures and videos we can have the meaning of advertising simply we can say that advertising that means to provide information about availability of any product or service we have seen Cadbury company Advertising about dairy milk, about perk, Nestle about munch, it is what? Product. Then it is Vodafone, where we have seen it is about the providing services. So, what is advertising? Advertising that means to provide information, details about what? About their own product, services available in the market at a particular price with particular features, with particular facilities, the usage of that particular product or services, the benefits that is known as advertising. This is in simple terms. Now let us see what American Marketing Association says about marketing, what they are telling. According to this association, advertising is any paid form of non-personal presentation and promotion of ideas, goods or services by an identified sponsor. Now, what is advertising is any paid form. Let us understand the whole statement by breaking the statements. Advertising is what? It is a paid form. Paid form that means? The companies or any person who are going to give information, detail about the product through any media, whether it is printing media or whether it is the media visual or audio visual, both. At that time, they have to pay something for that. It may be huge amount, it may be small amount, but they have to pay. Why? Because if nothing is paid, then this will not be advertising, it will become publicity that you will understand later on, where we will learn about the difference between advertising and publicity. When we say something about any product, when we provide details about any product or services without paying anything, then it becomes what? Publicity. 
but when we pay something for this it is known as what advertising so clear about it's a paid form paid form that means we have to pay something for it of non personal presentation non personal presentation that means it is not for any individual it is for what it is for promotion of ideas ek idea jo badal de aapki duniya that is the tagline hai na idea idea ya che for the communication we use the sim card for phone calls so they are what doing for that service they are advertising and with that their own idea any jo advertisement tumne yaad hoy to corona vakhate that we had the idea that just from the school where we don't have vacancies but from the village we connect from the school to village and that become possible during the corona a ek advertisement idea ni che ke aa sapnu ame joyu tu and that was successful so this is called promotion of idea then goods easy products goods that means products services simple by an identified sponsor identified that means from a particular company who is identified that this is the this company from not any unknown person or unknown company એટલે કે કોઈને ખબર નથી એવું કોઈ જ ના હોય જેવી રીતે આપણને ખબર પડી દેટ કેટબરી કંપની ઇઝ એડવર્ટાઇઝિંગ ફોર ધેર ઓન પ્રોડક્ટ રાઈટ સો ધીસ ઇઝ ધ મીનિંગ ગિવન બાય અમેરિકન માર્કેટિંગ એસોસિએશન the next meaning it is given by rs dawar what he says according to him advertising can be described as the art of creating demand as i told you it's a art what is zuzu apne hamna je advertisement joyi ne video joyo we enjoyed it ke matlab bodu enjoy karyu એમાં કોઈ બોલિવુડ સ્ટાર હતા એની સ્પેશિયલ પર્સન નો ઓનલી વન પર્ટિક્યુલર કેરેક્ટર વેરી સિમ્પલ કેરેક્ટર વેર ધ ફેસ ઇઝ જસ્ટ લાઈક એગ નો એની અધર કોસ્ટ્યુમ્સ નો મેકઅપ ઇવન ધો વી એન્જોયડ એની ડાયલોગ નો ઇવન ધો વી એન્જોયડ ધીસ ઇઝ કોલ્ડ આર્ટ just from the simple thing they create happiness they provide information that this is our company our company is providing this this is useful at this particular level so it's the art art of what creation of demand that we will learn later on in the features what is creation of demand creation of demand that means people they are not ready to purchase but when we advertise in such a manner that people they are induced they are attracted induced that means they are forced to purchase that particular product certain a time it happens kare thai che au when they provide attractive offers what kind of offers buy one get one free then 50% discount is a gift coupon surprise gifts certain kind of the offers like this then packaging certain a time just from the attractive packaging we are induced to purchase that product this is called creation of demand it is not there loko kharidta nahi pan shu thai che just by the advertising they are forced they are induced but in a very nice manner right so this is what is the art of creating a demand for articles or services articles that means goods means products so it's a articles or uh, sorry articles or services clear with the meaning everyone we have discussed three meaning one in a very simple term second given by american marketing association the third by an author and the name of author is r s dawa 
Now let us go to the most important question that is importance of advertising, importance or advantages or benefits or significance all are the same synonyms. Yadreshe, which are the words? Significance, importance, advantages, benefits. They are categorized like three categories. One is to owners, second is to customers and the third is to society. So whenever there is a question about explain importance of advertising, we have to explain with three categories, right? Now let us go one by one with the benefits or advantages to owners. The first one again creation of demand. Do I need to explain it again? It is what art of creation of demand that we have discussed under the head of definition given by R.S. Dower, where demand is not there, but we are advertising in such a way that other persons or the people in the market, they are induced to purchase. For that, let us see one particular video. This is about what? Daag lagne se kuch achcha hota hai to? Daag achche hai. They are targeting to whom? Small kids. Surf Excel, it is a washing powder. Do they use? Bada ko vapar vana se? But still they have targeted. On what base? With the simple our technique. Jara apna gharma nana bada ko hoi apne khabar chene kai kwa ge etle apne shu kaya chhe. Don't cry. Let me hit this one. And he will say sorry to you. The same. Surf Excel, our same technique, our same psychology of human being. And with that kids are very happy. Ane jare gare daag lagadi na ave. Ane mother eo ke 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 mau karu. Mami surf Excel hai na. Daag lagne se kuch achcha hota hai to daag achche hai. Thai ne ho. Mother lave ke na lave. But when kids, they say that you should purchase, don't hurt me. Mane hurt nahi garwano. दाग लग गया तो सर्फ एक्सेल एडवर्टिजमेंट में बतावे इम्पेक्ट ऑफ एडवर्टाइजिंग टू दी स्मोल चाइल्ड ऑन दी माइंड ऑफ किड्स सो दिस इज कॉल्ड आर्ट विथ दैट दे क्रिएट द डिमांड होती नहीं मधर्स दे आर नॉट गोइंग टू परचेज ए कई बीजू वपरवा है बट वेन किड्स आर सेंग दे आर इंड्यूज टू परचेज सो दिस इज अबाउट क्रिएशन ऑफ डिमांड द नेक्स्ट इज हेल्पफुल टू सेल्समेन what is the main function of the salesman? Koi pan company na salesman nu main karya kayu. What is the main function? What he has to do? What is his duty or responsibility? To sell the product. That is why they are known as salesmen. They are not marketing personnel. Marketing personnel they are different from salesmen. Salesmen they have to just sell the product or the services. How this help to salesmen? Advertising. What is the main objective of advertising? To provide information about the product, features of the product, price of the product, usage, utility of the product. With that what happens? When salesmen, they go to the market, they are not required to tell so much about the product or services to customers. Already they know about it. 
and they are ready to purchase. So in that way they are or the advertisement is helpful to salesmen. The next is increase in demand. Increase in demand, whether it increase or not. On the one way we have created the demand. So when we are able to create the demand due to advertising, that means we are able to increase the demand from 100 units to more units, right? To withstand competition. Withstand that means to face competition. If we want to face the competition, advertising is most important. That we have seen with the picturization of what? Picturization of Cadbury, Perk and Nestle Munch. The same price, same kind of the product, wafer and the upper layer is chocolate layer. The same product, very similar taste, same price, same kind of the packaging but both are in the market with the competition. If Perk is not advertising, then what happens? People will feel that no other company is providing such kind of the product and they will go to the one particular company only. So if we want to face the competition in this competition era, it is most important to provide information about the product and services of our company to say customers that we are here, we are there in the market with this particular product, features, prices. The next is prestige. Prestige, how it improves for the owner, how the prestige improves with the advertising. The one thing, creation of demand, increase in demand. So ultimately what happens? There is increase in sales. Yes or no? When the demand increases, sales increases. Sales increases, then what next increases? Very nice, profit increases. So when the profit increases, company is able to give dividend, higher amount of dividend to their shareholders. And company can say that my market share is highest in the whole market. So thereby the prestige increases. Second way, when company is advertising a lot, then there is the impression in the customer's mind that this company must be very much profitable and that's why this company is able to advertise a lot because they have to pay lakhs of rupees, crores of rupees. Who is able to spend this much of rupees if they have profitable, if they are profitable. Why we are able to spending when we have any kind of the source of income. So in that way also we can say the prestige of the company increases with the help of advertising. It reduces the production cost. Reduction in production cost, how is it possible? One way we are talking about expenses that crores of rupees we have to spend and at the after the same point now I am telling that it is reduction in production cost. What is production cost? First tell me. Production cost, it includes two types of the cost. Which are they? One is fixed cost, one is variable cost. What is fixed cost? Which remains unchanged with the level of production. Variable cost, it varies with the level of, level of production, right? Now let's take one particular example. At present, at present, we have suppose demand and sales of our product 500 units, where our fixed cost is 1000 rupees, right? Variable cost we know that it varies with the level of production. But when we say fixed cost that means it is unchanged, no changes whether we increase, whether we decrease. So we have the example that fixed cost is 1000 rupees. So what is the fixed cost per unit here? 
fixed cost per unit will be what? 1000 divided by 500 units. So, it is 2 rupees per unit. Due to advertisement, we have created demand, there is increase in demand. So, our sales also increases from 5 units to 1000 units. Now, what will be your fixed cost per unit? Will it be the same? Will it be the same? What will be the next? Your price per unit, fixed cost per unit, it will be changed from 2 rupees per unit to 1 rupees. Simple calculation. So, can we say that due to advertisement, there is reduction in production cost? Yes or no? Simple connection, clear, everyone, very nice. Now, benefits to customers. Awareness about availability of products and services with the advertisement through different medias. We have seen that it creates what? Information. Information that means awareness. Information about promotional schemes. Certain a time advertising about buy one get one free, buy two get one free, 50% discount, 10% discount, then gift coupons are available, then foreign trip is available. This is called promotional. Promotional schemes. What is promotional? The efforts to increase sales. Jepan kai efforts, sales vadharva mate thai, that is known as promotional activities. And with that, we have promotional schemes. The schemes which are utilized to increase sales, it is known as promotional schemes. Right? Alternatives. What is alternatives? Different options are available. Say for example, Sunfish Biscuit that we discuss at the time of branding. Sunfish is the brand of ITC. Under the head of Sunfish, variety of the biscuits are available. Yes or no? Yes. Brand is the same, but different biscuits are available. Same way, we have Parley Company. So many different biscuits are available. Britannia. Different varieties, chocolates from Nestle, varieties of chocolates. So, we can say that with the help of advertising, company can provide information about different alternatives or the options that company is providing this kind of the soaps, this kind of the washing powders, this kind of the uh, biscuits, chocolates, different products, right? The next benefit quality. When we advertise on the basis of quality that our company's product is with the 100 quality, say for example on the ratio of 1 to 100, when we say it's of best quality, when they say best quality, they have to provide it compulsorily because they are showing that and if they are not providing with that quality, then what happens? Customer can file the case. I am seriously, huh? I am seriously telling that if they are not providing the quality, what they are showing in advertisement, customer can file the case. And that is why certain beauty products, when they advertise about the fairness of the skin, when they advertise about the long hair, silky hair, black hair, in small statements, bau nana niche shabdo ma lakhelu hai. Condition apply. Ane another ek bijo word hoi se. Koi yaad che? What is the another word they use? Is the creative visualization. Creative. Jem apda creation of demand chane. Em creative. Eleke khali yo picturization karyu se. 
it's a beautiful picture but they are telling that this is the effect of visualization pictureization in short when any company advertise about the quality that means 100% they are going to provide the quality they have to maintain the quality of that particular product or the services and the last is reasonable price reasonable price that means they have to charge they can't charge high prices just on the basis the maximum advertisement another thing reasonable price here that means no high prices no lowest prices but with the reasonable amount of profit and reasonable amount of profit with that we have the reasonable price say for example 5 rupees chocolate in this time in this era of inflation who gives chocolate of 5 rupees and when they advertise with the certain amount the retailers they can't charge high prices than that again that is the benefit to customer because customers they are aware about the price of that particular product or services so retailers cannot charge more prices than the price it is offered on television or audio visual any media so these are the benefits to customers now any questions any questions regarding any doubts clear so thank you so much for giving us the time still if you have any questions you can ask okay then thank you so much